The kinetic theory of gases is a very important concept because it helps us describe the way that ideal gases behave. Now, the kinetic theory of gas essentially states that any gaseous system is composed of individual gas molecules that are moving with random and rapid motion in all sorts of directions. The kinetic theory of gases helps us explain certain macroscopic properties of gaseous systems such as, for example, pressure, as we'll see towards the end of this lecture. Now, why in the world do we study the behavior of ideal gases if ideal gases don't actually exist? Well, as it turns out, under certain conditions, we can approximate the behavior of real gases to that of ideal gases. So under these two conditions, real gases follow the ideal gas law very closely. So what are these two conditions? So condition number one, the temperature has to be high enough. If the temperature isn't high enough, the molecules of the gaseous system will not have a high enough kinetic energy and that will bring the molecules close to one another and that means our gaseous system has the potential to liquefy or even solidify and if it becomes a liquid or a solid we can no longer treat our gaseous system as a gas so that means the kinetic theory of gases no longer applies to that gas so let's examine condition number two. So the condition number two states that the pressure of our gaseous system has to be low enough, about equal to atmospheric pressure. Now, the reason for this condition is the same exact reason as for condition number one. If the pressure is very high, then the gaseous molecules are brought very close to one another. And then they will feel electrical forces, electrostatic forces, according to Coulomb's law. And that means, once again, there is potential for our, so for our gas phase to go into the liquid phase or even the solid phase. So only if we have the following two conditions can we treat real gases as ideal gases. Now what exactly is an ideal gas? Well an ideal gas can be described using the following four important points. So let's begin with point number one. In any given system, in any given gaseous system, there is a very large number of particles and each particle has the same mass given by m and each particle moves in random directions with a great variety of speeds. So let's look at Point number two, on average, the molecules are far apart from one another. That is, the separation distance is much greater than the diameter of each molecule. And this allows us to neglect the volume of each molecule. So when we discuss ideal gases, we neglect the volume of those individual gas molecules. And that's because the entire volume of the space that the molecules don't occupy is much greater than the volume of those individual molecules. Let's look at point number three. We neglect any electrical forces between the molecules when they are separated and assume that they interact only upon collision. And in point number four, the collisions are perfectly elastic and we neglect neglect any potential energy associated with the collisions. So we only describe the kinetic energies of our individual molecules. So these are the four conditions, four points that describe the behavior of ideal gases. And under these two conditions, we can approximate real gases as being ideal gases. Now, why is the kinetic theory of gas useful? Well, it's useful because it helps explain a lot of different macroscopic properties. For instance, it helps explain pressure and Boyle's law. So, kinetic theory explains pressure and Boyle's law. 
pressure is created by the collisions of the molecules between the walls of the container. As you decrease the volume of a container by a factor of two, so as we go from this volume to this volume without actually increasing or decreasing the temperature, we have to increase the pressure of our container by the same exact factor. So that is Boyle's law. But why is that true? So Boyle's law states that if our temperature is constant, then the pressure in this container times the volume in this container is equal to the pressure in this container times the volume of this container. So the Boyle's law states that if we decrease volume by two, we have to increase volume by that same factor. So the kinetic theory helps explain why this is true. So it turns out that as you decrease the volume by a factor of two, twice as many collisions take place with the wall of the container. And since pressure depends on the number of collisions between the molecules and the walls of the container, because the number of collisions doubles, the pressure also doubles. So once again, the kinetic theory of gas helps explain things like pressure.